In this video, I'm going to show you the steps necessary to use David Schneider's Crouton script to install an Ubuntu CH root with the XFCE desktop environment onto an external storage device for use with your Chromebook. You can use Crouton to install Ubuntu onto a variety of devices, the fastest of which will still be your Chromebook's internal solid-state drive. External media like micro SD cards, USB flash drives, and external hard disk drives are also good options. Being removable, these devices offer a little more versatility and portability. However, very few of them can compare to the speed of the internal SSD. For this demonstration, we'll be using a SanDisk Ultra 64GB micro SD card. But the process itself is very similar regardless of your media choice. With your Chromebook in developer mode, connect to the internet and log in. Next, insert the SD card into the Chromebook's SD card port. When the file screen appears, you can close it, as we don't need this right now. Now open a shell. This is done by hitting Ctrl-Alt-T. Then at the cross prompt, type the word shell and hit enter. Our first command in the shell will ensure that we dismount any partitions that currently exist on the SD card. When prompted for a password here, you need to enter the root password for Chrome OS, not the password to your Google account. Our next series of commands will create an MS-DOS type partition table on the SD card. Once this is done, you need to reboot the Chromebook, log back in, and open a shell. Now we're going to use FDisk to create a partition on our SD card. In this context, DEV stands for device, and SDB stands for storage device B, or the second storage device on the Chromebook, the first being the internal SSD. Once the new partition has been written to the SD card, Chrome OS will bring up the file screen again. It will show what appear to be two devices called SD cards. However, this isn't totally accurate. Let's check our work by looking in FDisk again. Here the system is telling us that Dev SDB is a 64 gigabyte storage device with one partition, dev sdb1, existing on it. And it looks like we've done our job well. Now it's time to create a file system on our SD card, but the first step will be to make sure that it's unmounted from the system. Next, we'll use mke2fs to create an ext4 file system on our SD card partition. Now let's remount our partition before we reboot one last time. Once you've logged in, Chrome OS will show you the file screen again, but this time with only one instance of the SD card. Now we need to eject it from the file screen, physically remove the SD card from the SD card port, and put it back into the SD card port.
Now we'll open a shell and check that our partition is mounted properly. Here we see that our partition, dev sdb1, is mounted at media slash removable slash sd card. Now we need to download the latest version of the crouton file from GitHub. And now it's finally time to run Crouton and install Ubuntu onto our properly formatted SD card. Here we'll be specifying the Raring release, or version 13.04 of Ubuntu. We'll also be specifying the XFCE desktop environment. If you prefer a different release or a different desktop, that is possible. However, it won't be discussed in this video in detail. Once you run this command, Crouton will go out to repositories on the internet and download all the files necessary to complete an installation of Ubuntu according to your specifications. Even with a very fast internet connection, this process can take some time, anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes. Just make sure the Chromebook doesn't try to put itself to sleep at any point during this process. When the script is finished, it will ask you to provide a username and root password for use in Ubuntu. Before we start Ubuntu for the first time, however, there's one more thing we need to do. Especially because we've installed Ubuntu onto an external device like this SD card, it's critical that we encrypt it. To do this, we'll be running Crouton again, but this time in an update mode. And with a few other specifications, that tell it to encrypt our newly installed operating system. Were you not to encrypt it at this point, anyone with physical access to the SD card would be able to view and modify files saved on it. When prompted, enter an encryption passphrase this should be different from any password you've used so far. When finished, Crouton will leave an encryption key file in the downloads directory of your Chromebook. It's very important that you back this file up because if you lose it, you'll no longer be able to access the Ubuntu operating system that you've just installed. In the case of our example here, the file will be named Raring. And now we are finally ready to start our Ubuntu CH root for the first time. When it starts for the first time, you should be presented with a dialog asking what kind of panel configuration you prefer. If you don't know what you want, just select Default Configuration. You can switch between Chrome OS and Ubuntu on the fly by holding down Control, Alt, Shift, and pressing forward or backward keys on the Chromebook keyboard. To shut down the CH root and exit Ubuntu, simply log out. At this point, we have a fully functioning version of Linux running side by side with the native Chrome OS on our Chromebook. You'll be able to install and run any software that runs natively in Linux. You'll also be able to run a wide variety of Windows software using Wine. Check the video description for a link to this video's companion Google Doc, as well as links to relevant discussion forums around the internet. Hopefully all of these steps worked for you. But if you encounter issues, you might be able to find some answers there. Thanks for watching and enjoy your Chromebook with Ubuntu.